Hello all, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. I'm your friendly neighborhood Muslim jihadi here and welcome to my first unboxing jihad video where I'll be unboxing this new Realme Watch S. It's a really good product. I'll be unboxing this of course in the uh, average jihadi style just like all the average uh, Muslim jihadis do. Right after that inshallah we'll be having a book review jihad on this uh, wonderful book we'll be discussing and we'll be summarizing and reviewing this book titled Deep Work by Cal Newport. It's a book about personality development and, uh, uh, and uh, character building. It's about productivity. It's a really good book. I highly recommend you all to read this. And inshallah in the next episode we'll be having a food review jihad uh, on this really wonderful delicious nectarous super cali fragilistic expialidocious lollipop that I stole in jihadi style from my little jihadi brother's bag while he was going to kindergarten uh, for educational jihad of course after having his breakfast jihad <coughs> excuse me let me have my uh, water jihad seriously this is preposterous and this is exactly what's happening jihad has become one of the most misunderstood, misperceived, misquoted and misrepresented word in the entire socio-geopolitical paradigm. So much so that ignorant Islamophobes are connecting anything and everything with it. That's where we get love jihad from. That's where we get narcotic jihad from. That's where we get shawarma jihad from. Don't worry, that's gonna come soon. Over the past few years, Hindutva groups in India have accused Muslims of waging land jihad to take over property organ jihad to transplant non-Hindu body parts to Hindu bodies, corona jihad to spread the virus and UPSC jihad to fill the ranks of civil services with Muslims. It's absolutely preposterous and funny at the same time. The Islamophobes are so ignorant that when we say the word jihad, all that comes into their mind are guns, AK-47s, fighter jets, machine guns, bombs, killings, bloodshed and terrorism. What they don't understand is that the concept of jihad is far bigger and beautiful than they can ever understand. Helping parents is jihad. Giving charity is jihad. Defending the oppressed is jihad. Self-defense for protecting one's own life and family is jihad. Providing a helping hand is jihad. Giving food, giving food to another person while you are hungry is jihad. The Prophet wasallam said that the greatest jihad is the jihad in nafs which is the struggle against the self, against one's own wishes, against one's own whims, fancies and desires. All these come under the beautiful umbrella concept of Jihad. Jihad doesn't mean holy war. In fact, you can never find the word holy war in Islamic traditions. That word itself came from the Crusader literature. It doesn't have any connection with Islam whatsoever. In Islam, war is not holy, but rather life is holy. Jihad is a broad term and it encompasses academic, diplomatic and moral support and contribution to the righteous causes. In the specific meaning of armed struggle, the Holy Quran says that jihad in the meaning of armed struggle can only be undertaken for the sake of eliminating injustice and persecution. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Holy Quran in chapter number 2 verse number 256 which basically means there is no compulsion in religion. There is no compulsion in religion. And you, my friend, have no right to shove your religion down the throats of another person forcefully. This is the universal stance of Islam in the contemporary world. Islam does not teach hate and violence. It is a source of spiritual contentment and fulfillment for a quarter of world's population. It is what teaches a believer in Islam to never tease, never hurt and never inflict any harm with hands or tongue no matter whether there is any law about it or not, whether it is being enforced or not. As per Islamic worldview, all people will be accountable on the day of judgment for all their intentions and actions. If someone misinterprets the religion with a political propaganda in mind, they will surely carry the burden of their sins. Their actions shouldn't be generalized on the entire Muslim community. It is deeply saddening that from a community of over 1.6 billion people spreading all over seven continents in the world, individual instances from a small minority of deviants are cherry-picked in an effort to embarrass and tease peaceful mainstream Muslims. Selectively picking particular types of arguments, people and actions and generalizing it over 1.6 billion is unjustified and outright wrong. The conspiracy theoretical concepts like love jihad, narcotic jihad, etc. 
goes against the fundamentals of our own religion. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Holy Quran really beautifully, ادعوا إلى سبيل ربك بالحكمة والموعظة الحسنة وجادلهم بالتي هي أحسن which means invite all to the way of your Lord with wisdom and kind advice and only debate with them in the best manner in the best manner so think carefully before you jump into conclusions based on what propaganda media channels tells you think twice before accepting what they tell you so learn, unlearn and relearn وأقول في القرآن ما جاءت به آياته فهو الكريم المنزل وأقول قال الله جل جلاله والمصطفى الهادي ولا أتأول وجميع آيات الصفات أمرها حقا كما نقل الطراز الأول